My favorite story is the Gelston story. And uh, this was told many times. And uh, Captain William Gelston uh, wanted to marry this girl uh, who was right across the, her house is still there. And uh, she was a Seneth Sears. Well, it uh, goes back a while. He was from Long Island, and his family had large holdings on Long Island. And her grandmother lived in Long Island. And she had been taken down to uh, uh, Brantford and rode across Long Island Sound by three or four men. And, you know, they had a service. They rode people across. And visited her, her grandmother every summer. And she was building her trousseau. You know, women really spent their life making a trousseau, all the fine linens and underwear and fancy whatnot. And uh, she was, it was still in Long Island. And then the, the British camped right there. And uh, all the patriots were persona non gratis there. And the Gelsons were patriots. Now, the old man Gelson died at this point, and he had 20 children or stepchildren. And he, uh, we have his will, and he gave so much, many pieces of silver and so much linen to this. Now, all along the way, all his children got something. When he got to his youngest son, who was William, he left all his land and all his debts. But anyway, he, they fell in love because they were right next door neighbors. And then she persuaded him. There was a, a farm for sale right across from their land. And uh, their land, as you go down 82 and turn the corner, that's that salt box that's up the hill. You can used to see it better than you can now. And then as you come around, there's that big barn right there on the road. That's the Gelston barn. And the Gelston, the house was the house that uh, Captain William Gelston built for his new bride who, uh, you know, just across the way. But she persuaded him to buy that terrible farm. It's all hill. It's called the Hill Farm. And he also bought all the land uh, all around East Tatum. If you find an old map, you'll see J.B. Gelston uh, under all of it. And he also had all the land uh, where Chapman's Pond is as well. But anyway, he bought a lot of land. He, he was big in buying land. But then he built that beautiful house. He asked her to marry him. We'll go back a little bit. And uh, he said, Come, marry me. I'm going to, I, I just uh, gathered up a regiment. And uh, since I'm funding the regiment, I've been made captain. And we're going to march down. We're going to uh, chase some cows down to Valley Forge because General Washington needs us. So she said, but I can't marry you because I don't have my trousseau here. And she said, well, he said, well, why not? She says, it's over at my grandmother's in Long Island. And he said, well, you can't go through the British blockade and get it. Let's get married. I have to get moving. And so she thought to herself, hmm, I can't get married without my trousseau. So she dressed up like a man, rode a horse down to Brantford, hired the men that were normally taking her across every summer, row her through the British blockade over to uh, Long Island. She got her trousseau. They placed it in the boat. And this was by nightfall. They were rowing back. And suddenly they were apprehended. And the, the cannonballs were falling to the right of them and falling to the left of them. And they usually ran the, the boat right up onto the beach that's there. But no, they got scared and ran it into the bushes and scattered. And she's standing there saying, I didn't come all this way not to get my trousseau. So somehow, with a great act of, of strength, she put her and, and got the, the rope and pulled the, the big trunk over into the bushes. And as she was doing it, her foot pushed the boat out into the water. And the next uh, cannonball went plunk, splatter in a million pieces. And if they'd been in it, they'd have all been in a million pieces. But anyway, she then uh, begged, borrowed, stole or something, a wagon, and hitched her horse to it and brought her trousseau back home, was married the next day, and he marched off with his, uh, the herd of cows or animals, beef, 
Anyway, uh, East Haddam was the provision town anyway, because that story about taking a herd of, ca of cattle all the way to Valley Forge was true. Anyway, that was, that's one of my favorite stories. <laughs>